we're back at Target. We're looking for more dolls. I thought that they were stocking up somewhere here. And also we need to get supplies for Toy Fair. Let's go. You guys, I finally found them. There's these little eyeballs in the Halloween section that are doll sized. Um, so I'm grabbing them. Me and my doll eyeballs. Oh my God, yes. Oh my God, I was gonna say me and my doll eyeballs are gonna look for dolls, but look. All right, we got, I think her name is Winter with a Y, but I don't know for sure. Um, is there anything else in this section? I don't know. We gotta go to Toy Fair to find out what all the new toys are, but we're still catching up on some of the older ones. Yay, Winter. Not that these are old, they're like a week old at this point. And then, oh my God, this is fully stocked. Okay, I'm gonna put Winter and my eyeballs down. Um, wow. Here. Look how stocked it is. Look, I found the new Pixling. Okay. Let's see what they got. I just, I gotta go slow because I'm gonna miss something. Oh, there's new, um, Mimeows that are like squishy, I think. I saw them on someone's story. I haven't seen her yet, I don't think. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm nervous a bit. Someone asked me about a stitch thing that was showing in the last video, but I don't see it now. And I really wanted to be able to tell them what it was. Uh, anyway, look at that. Whoa, it's like, um, like that ASMR smashing thing. <gasps> look. Oh my god, do they have the Haribo tween? Please tell me they do. Please tell me they do. <gasps> yes, yes. <laughs> Yay! All right, this one has a smudge. I'll come back and find like a perfect one. And they've got all of these up here now. They were on an end cap before. Oh, look, the weird um, sky dancers, LOLs. And this sand hair. Okay, I kind of love that. That's really cool. Okay, and then Rainbow High. Do they have any of the new ones yet? Oh, all of them, really? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, and I didn't know there were new trolls things coming. These are cute. Is there a new movie? Band Together. Maybe it's a show. I don't know. I don't know anything about Trolls. I watched the one movie when I was on a cruise and it was amazing. <laughs> um, okay, and then we've got Natural Least. Oh, the new boy. That's Greg. I just keep seeing people on Dull Twitter be like, Greg. Like, they, they're talking about Greg and one of my friends has a husband named Greg. So I was like, but it, it, that's Greg. If you're curious. Okay, moving on. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. I feel like I probably missed something. We gotta go check end caps. Come on. We're actually gonna record this time because last time we missed stuff because I stopped recording thinking there would be nothing. So there's new Barbie movie dolls too that I would love to at least see. Oh yeah, there's one of them. Is that when she went to the gynecologist? I don't even remember. <laughs> I, I've seen the movie once so far. Okay, nothing on that end cap, but we do have some wolves to high. I really want that Cleo. Oh my God, yes. Look, you know the Britney Spears, I'm a slave for you, Brett? She's, that's what, isn't that cute? <laughs> okay, um, we gotta look through and find the, oh my God, look at her printing. Her eyes are way too high up. If you can't tell, sorry, but that's rough. For those of you who are way too picky about monster eye faces, that's for you. Um, and then the Disney side, I don't know if I'm expecting anything. Oh yeah, the Asha, or the Wish stuff, but I think that's Walmart that it's getting found at. Um, and we'll double check. Oh my god, there's a Monster High Endcap with Cleo. Oh, that's the store display I only saw one time and it came home with me that time, uh, but it was a different store. Um, so that's kind of cool. I haven't seen it again since. Um, so the only new ones they have are the Fabulous Pets Cleo, but there are other Fabulous Pets, right? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I thought there was, um, but Cleo's the only one in the box. Okay, we gotta go pick out our dolls. I'm so excited. I forgot to point these out, but these are new Miniverse. Um, they're really cute, actually. I really like them. Um, oh my god, I'm so excited. There's so much new stuff. Oh, look! That is so cute. Oh my god, I didn't notice that the braid is coming out of it. Oh my god, that's so precious. That's so cute. There's so much good stuff on the market right now. This is the time to be a toy collector. I'm scared for it to end. Um, so now I need to pick out my, I think today I'm gonna get the Haribo tween because she's so cute. And maybe I'll get one of the Haribo sweets too, mini sweets. Um, and then kind of out of breath for some reason. <laughs> oh, the fluffy stuffies are here. I'm interested in those, but I'm not sure. And then I might get a pinky, it depends because mine has a eyebrow smudge and I can swap them. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I'm definitely getting Cleo. Are you kidding? I've been so excited about that one. She's so, 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 so cool. I'm so excited. And they've moved so much stuff around. Oh, so the retail price for this was $70, by the way. But it says it's $125 value. Just trust me. <laughs> and the... Are these new? Is this a new version? I don't know. 
All right, I wanted to walk through and show because this is the like reset for quarter three, I guess. So these are all the new products that are, or not all of them, but a lot of the new products that are gonna be around. So there's the Magic House, which is super cute. And I'm not as familiar with things outside of OMGs and tweens, so I'm sorry if I'm missing out on some stuff. This is so adorable, by the way. Super, super cute. So the yellow wall section is actually like, I never really thought about it, but it's, it's encroaching more and more. Like this is huge. It's almost an entire aisle. Man down. <laughs> um, anyway, we've got the bubble surprise. I guess that's some kind of bath bomb. I don't know. And oh, are these new? I think so. We've got all sorts of stuff. I love the sparkles on that store display. There's so much good stuff. Oh my god. Oh, and I saw this off camera. Um, look at this. I love that they're platinum. They're really just silver. But like, if I, I would like to try to get her, but. Um, I have a lot of these Disney minis, and I really like them, but I don't know. The silver ones, other than the Tiana, I'm not really too interested in getting. Um, oh, and then the, the Disney aisle is kind of whatever. Like, there's nothing going on, at least from what I noticed. Oh, hello. Hold on. I see more trolls. Oh, and some Godzilla vs. Kong business. Nothing that I'm looking for specifically, though. Oh, Miniverse food display here. That's for Series 2, although they're not calling them that. Uh, and then we've got... More of the new troll stuff, that's what caught my eye. Oh, on a store display. Is that a new movie or am I, I might have missed something. Um, and then that looks like new crybaby stuff, but unfortunately the BFFs have officially lost their shelf space. Seems like they're not gonna be a target anymore at the, the very least. I hope they at least stick around somewhere. Oh, I heard about Lil Woodsy's rainbow series. They're really cute, I heard about them. Uh, I was looking them up because I'm going to be meeting with the company that makes them at Toy Fair, but uh, anyway, cool. You don't really see Monster High End caps anymore ever since their release, so it is cool to see one again. It's a good sign, I think. And it's mostly the Skultimate Secrets, which I've heard are doing really well. And that new Cleo's here too with Monster Ball. I can't wait to complete Monster Ball. It's such a good line. All right. See you guys later. Wait, they've got the, the advent calendars are starting to go out. All right, keep an eye out for advent calendars, guys. We bought one of those one year. Very overpriced, but very cute. What are the Pokemon this year, you think, baby? I see Raboot. Snow Run. A good choice. These are, like, evil that they just include pieces of paper um, for, like, a lot of the accessories. Um, they look like they might be shiny. Like, not shiny as in Pokemon, but, like, uh, iridescent. All creamy looks kind of pearly. Cool. Oh, my God. Wait, what's the Jurassic Park one? I didn't realize it was an advent calendar. Oh, my God. You get to build your own pond. For the 30th anniversary, that is so cute. Comes with a lot of dinosaurs, actually. For wait, it's only $33? Because the Pokemon one is 60 for no reason. Okay, I'm tempted by that, maybe. And then you've got Pokemon. Cards. I don't know how much of this is new, but I do see some new stuff, so I wanted to show it off real quick. So this is like the Christmas impulse section. Kind of not impulse though, because all of it's kind of expensive, but like big Christmas gift type stuff. So I think this is all new. I mean it must be, it's Mattel Disney Princess. And then you've got silver dorables or platinum, I guess. Is 100 like a platinum anniversary? Did I miss something? Is that what that is? Everything's platinum for some reason. Um, which I prefer to gold. And then you've got this honestly pretty good Barbie place. That looks fun. Uh, ooh, babe. I want him. Why didn't they give him a name? Like, I missed when they had names. Like, Code of the Triceratops. This is just Giga Dino. Um, these play sets used to be at Toys R Us. Did you ever have any? It's a Mega Roar. It's not a Giga Roar? Well, that's perplexing. Did you ever have these like Animal Planet playsets when you were a kid? From Toys R Us? They were so good. They were so good. We had one that was like a shark cage that you could put in your bathtub with all the sharks. And then Mario Kart, every year I see it. It looks very fun. Is it that big? It should loop though, right? Oh, it comes with King Boo. It covers the whole expanse of space. That's dope. I want that. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the doll room. You know what that means when we've just done a doll hunt. That means I have some purchases to share with you guys. I've got a haul. Uh, I was not expecting to really find anything today. I knew my target was resetting, but I figured they'd be kind of slow and do it over the next week or two, but they basically finished the reset already. Everything was there. I was really surprised to see it. I am very, very excited about all of the new stuff, and I really wasn't expecting that. I'm actually, I was there today because I'm going to New York Toy Fair in like 10 minutes I'm gonna drive to the airport actually <laughs> well not 10 minutes whenever this video is over I'm driving to the airport um so we went to go look for supplies but we found 
dolls. And that gets us a video before Toy Fair, which is great because I need to have pre-filmed content. Um, and also it gives me a bunch of really cool dolls to review for you guys, either in the interim time or when I get back. So, and of course to add them to my collection. So I'm really excited. So let's get started. First, I want to show you the first thing that I got which is the bottle of eyeballs. I showed it in the video, but I had heard about this because BJD collectors noticed that these are actually the eyeballs that they order from China. They're the exact same ones, uh, but you can get like three pairs for a dollar at Target. I see two pairs in here and I see another one right there. I'm not sure how many exactly are in here, but there's at least five. I can see five of them, um, but it probably varies. So check the bottles when you're in there. It's mostly filled with uh, packing paper stuff, but this is so, so cute. So it, it will either be a great Halloween decoration for me, which I have one. He's a glittery green skeleton. His name is Guillermo and he's been my only Halloween. Well, I have like a skeleton snake, but he's always around. He doesn't have a name, um, but those are my Halloween decorations. And now I have a bottle of eyeballs. Someday when I have like a, when I have my big, big, big house and I've got all my like space for like decorating and we set up new decorations for each season, maybe you'll see this on my mantle as one of my Halloween decorations. Or I'll rip into there and use the eyeballs for dolls. Who knows? We'll see. So that was just a really cute find and I wanted to grab one before they were gone. All right, next. I don't know where to go. I've got a lot of dolls. We'll go with this one. I got the Fabulous Pets Cleo doll. So if you watched my last doll hunt and if you haven't, it will, it would be kind of interesting for you guys to watch it. Not only because like, please watch my videos. I would appreciate it. But like, if you watch it, you can see what this target looked like while it was resetting versus what it looks like reset. So Reset, by the way, is when they, like, get rid of old product and put new product in place or just rearrange things. Um, so it's actually kind of interesting. I'm glad that I got that snapshot in time while it was resetting because I, I tend to catch it resetting, honestly, because I'm always in the toy aisle. <laughs> I'm always there. At least once a week, you'll catch me in that aisle. I'm not usually buying anything, but I'm there looking. Uh, but anyway, I really, in that video, I was like, I love this fabulous pets two pack that I found. In fact, I believe I was the first person to find it and post about it online. People were really excitedly uh, telling me that and asking me all sorts of questions about them. So that was cool. But I was like, I really want Cleo. She's the one that I've been looking for. I hadn't even really remembered Claudine and Draculaura as much, to be honest with you, because I love this Cleo so much. And I found her today. I was not expecting it. I'm so glad that I caught that part on camera, actually, because when I found the two pack, I was not filming, but I was filming the whole time for these because I was like, I see that they reset. I know um, to be recording this time, I'm not gonna miss it, and yay! And the reason I wanted this one so bad, by the way, is not only because Cleo from Gen 3 is probably my favorite consistently, like, she just looks good in every line, Monster Ball Cleo being my actual favorite, like, G3 doll, it's her in Gorgonizer Dracula, I kind of flip-flop every day, but she has his set back, his set was her pet from the original Monster High dolls, and I finally have the original his set. Thank you so, so much. The person who gifted her to me, you know who you are. Um, but now I have Generation 3 his set, and I love that she's posed in this, like, um, I think it's a reference to the Britney Spears I'm a Slave for You performance, where she has that albino, was that a Burmese python? She's carrying around like this. Isn't that so cute? I love that, I love that. I love that we're getting the pets in different sculpts with Gen 3 consistently. Love it. Obviously not for every single release, but for Fabulous Pets, thank you. And oh my god, look at her. I just fed my snake Cleo, actually, so I just had this moment, except I don't have a dog. Got cats, though. Anyway. <laughs> Next. I got the Haribo LOL Surprise Tweens. I am so excited about this. As soon as they started doing the mini suites, the LOL Surprise Loves mini suites or whatever they're called, and the cereal ones and all these corporate sponsorship dolls, I was like, please do OMGs, please do tweens, please give us fashion dolls. And they did it with Haribo. I really hope they do this more. I assume they'll only do it with specific brands. Like Haribo is so, it's, it's gummy bears, it's pretty easy to do. But for something like Cocoa Pebbles, like if you don't super like Cocoa Pebbles, you're probably not gonna buy the Cocoa Pebbles doll, right? Um, but Haribo is pretty standard. Like a lot of people like gummy bears. It's not like a brand thing necessarily. And Haribo is like the gummy bear brand. I know there's other ones. I love the Black Forest gummy bears. I'm so sorry, Haribo. Those are the good ones. Um, is that what they're called? The ones you get from Sam's Club or Costco. I don't know. My mom used to get them all the time. Uh, but even if I didn't care about gummy bears and I wasn't engaged with Haribo as a brand, this outfit is so mind-numbing. I need to, like, have a dinner with the LOL Surprise designers, at least one of them, and just, like, stare at them and see if I can, like, absorb what is going on in their heads because they are so genius. Uh, and I know I'm just talking about a doll's design, but, like, 
the artistry and the the innovation the interesting ideas they have it's just so so cool specifically the thing that i'm talking about right now is this clear rainbow skirt i love a clear vinyl skirt it's so fun with a chain belt with gummy bear charms hanging off of the belt it's so cool it's so cool i love this um corporate sponsorship dolls more please like spider-man chloe shrek Yasmin, you've got like mcdonald's barbies you've got toys r us barbies they're always so fun more like that please give me the iconic brands i recognize in doll form i need a mcdonald's lol now actually now that i think about it i need a mcdonald's rainbow high doll i already was putting her to work in my little mcdonald's uh leakage on playset but like more um it's fun that's it i don't know what to tell you like just things that i recognize in the doll world like moving them to dolls is just so fun even if i don't really care about the brand like with the mini sweets i hadn't even heard of some of those i've had chupa chups now finally by the way they're so good they're so good <laughs> um but like they're so cute it's just so cute and fun i i don't know if you were to ask me about corporate sponsorship normally i would be like Ugh, stop doing that but if you're gonna do it with dolls yes more <laughs> anyway uh in addition to that that was scary. I also got two more LOL surprise balls. The new releases are really enticing to me. The last ones that I bought were the mini sweet series two and the cereal sweets, but I haven't unboxed them on my channel yet. Um, these tied me over like I had to get them or they did not tie me over. Sorry. These tempted me enough that I had to get them. I got this. I just want to see what the LOL Haribo stuff is like, because I don't know. I haven't seen it at all yet. I don't even know what to expect. This one looks awesome though. So I guess they're just themed after the flavors really. That is intriguing to me. I am excited to see what this is all about. And I don't know, like you're gonna theme this many dolls after gummy bears? I am extremely intrigued. Oh, it's not just gummy bears, it's Haribo as a brand because this is something totally different. Oh, do they have sour gummy? Those are sour belts, I guess. Are they sour gummy worms with Haribo? I don't know, but anyway, this is great. This is very cute. I will either unbox this in an LOL unboxing specifically, which is coming for like the tots, or I will do just in the Haribo tweens video i will unbox this we'll see but it'll be like a week from now so not for you guys but for me it will be and then who's that pokemon it's lol surprise squish sand magic hair okay so uh i love this gimmick i love the sand gimmick it is so much fun i almost wish that i had one of those little sand boxes that has that water thing that you put in your backyard and you just play in it like the the one that's like raised off the ground a little bit that looks fun um, I just love kinetic sand. I have a bag of that. I have it green and I like to make little cubes out of it. That's all I end up doing is making little cubes. I don't know. Um, I've got Orbeez at my desk. Like, I love it. And this is it in doll form. I loved it with the cave club. The little, um, dino babies, the little blind box dino baby things. They came with sand. Sometimes it was either slime or sand. I love that kinetic sand. It is so much fun. And I'd venture to guess that this is also some kind of kinetic sand. And I've been thinking about that playset that we saw at the store which we saw again today that was like some kind of sand lol house of some sort i want that bad but i'm going to hold off maybe if it goes on sale i'll get it but i'm gonna step away i'm gonna step away from it um i saw this and i was like okay perfect that's all we need we need the squish sand magic hair so i'm just very curious how this works it says that you like mold the hair yourself kind of like a play-doh thing so cool I think you'd have to constantly redo the hair, though, because it's probably going to fall out often, but it looks fun, and I'm engaged. I'm excited, so yeah. I love the packaging artwork, by the way. Super cute. Super cute and fun. One more thing. I have one more thing to share with you. The first thing... I'm leaving that in. I got asked if we ever have bloopers. That's the only blooper ever is when I accidentally throw something across the room. Um, anyway... It's crazy that I got both of the exclusive, like, rare pixelings before I even got the dear one, but it is what it is. Um, I'm so excited. I actually did not check if the dear one was on the shelf. If she was, I totally missed it, but I'm so excited about winter. I think she's a rabbit. I think I asked in my other video and someone said rabbit, and I'm going with it. She seems to have rabbit ears. Look at this design. I'm so, so excited for this one. I cannot wait to see what this one is like. And I was really surprised. I was looking at my receipt. This doll was $25 and it says she comes with three extra fashions and she has like a full fabric outfit, it looks like, as opposed to having 
I can't tell actually. We'll see. I mean, is there like a manifest somewhere that says what she comes with? It says three extra fashions. Oh, the fashions being fashion pieces. I was thinking extra outfits. Well, we'll see because the regular dolls are $17.99 and this one's like super special and comes with extra stuff and a full fabric outfit for $7 extra. I'm curious. I'm intrigued and I'm very excited. Oh my god, I love that she comes with a scepter. As soon as a doll comes with a scepter, especially a winter themed doll, love it. Love it. Almost dropped her again. This box is so like lopsided because this is so heavy and this is not. I'm so excited. This is so cool. Mixies is the brand to watch. I'm really excited to see where they go from here. I have been loving them. I truly think Mixies is the brand to watch. I'm so excited to see what they bring. I do selfishly hope they start doing full-size fashion dolls, but even if they don't, I'll be fine with it. I'm just so excited about how they are now. I think they're awesome, but I know they don't appeal to everyone, especially my audience. I know you guys love fashion dolls. I do too, but I love, I just love a little fantasy doll friend. I think they're so precious and I can't wait to see more from them. And with that, that was actually kind of interesting the way it uh, twists. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know if you found anything interesting and if you're in the US especially, stick around look around you'll probably find some new stuff if you go to target or walmart i don't know about other stores i've heard macy's is actually getting a lot of stuff but there's like one macy's within like two hours from me here and last time i went they had like a couple of holiday barbies and that was during like when they were supposed to have a lot of stuff like christmas time last year so i don't know what's going on <laughs> maybe my area's macy's just don't want to be part of it um, but also I wanted to remind you guys, do not feel overwhelmed by the amount of releases right now. Like, I know it is overwhelming, especially if you're a completionist collector or if you just want to get a bunch of things from these releases. I know it's stressful and it's overwhelming and you, um, probably feel inclined to want to grab them all at once, but don't give in to that urge. There's going to be- I am a reviewer, so the amount of dolls that I get at the speed that I get them is very unusual. I'm able to post videos on my channel and get some kind of reimbursement back for my videos, right? Like, I make ad revenue, I sometimes get free product, like, um, there's that sort of thing going on. So this is not super realistic to be able to do hauls like this all the time. I'm very, very grateful for the position that I'm in, but I want to make sure you guys understand that this is not an expectation of what doll collecting should be like for you. If it can be like this for you and it's healthy and you're happy with it, great. But just know, like, you can slow down and take it easy and wait for sales. Um, trust me, with the amount of product on the shelves right now for Christmas time, it is going to be a battle. There's going to be a lot of sales. And after Christmas time, there's going to be a lot of clearancing. And a lot of these products are going to be left over, especially online. And if you're wanting things sooner and you don't want to wait until, like, next year to be able to get stuff, I hear you. Target specifically, I'm not sponsored. Uh, Target does not like me, I'm sure. <laughs> um... Target has a lot of sales, like, on toys, and especially around this time of year, if you really pay attention. Like, um, they'll do it after Christmas, too, but, like, they'll occasionally have, like, a $20 off $100 coupon and stuff. And if you're planning on getting a bunch of these new releases, a $20 discount is, like, an entire doll. So it's not something to sneeze at. It's a pretty good deal. Um, and you could price match with other places. Amazon's going to have a lot of sales because they're constantly trying to compete with these other retailers. There's also that Prime Day. Usually the doll sales aren't great with Prime Day, but whatever um but there's gonna be sales there's time don't feel rushed don't stress yourself out trying to get them all just breathe and take it easy i promise you'll have more fun that way all right that's it for this video thank you guys so, so much for watching for all this time bye